we now do sequence of uh, elementary row operations on this uh, given matrix that is A so that uh, we can convert to matrix B. So the first operation that I am going to do is uh, R1 is updated as R1 plus uh, 1 times of R2. So let me consider R1 elements that is uh, 4, 0, negative 1 and then 1 times of R2 is R2. So I write down the row 2 elements below this that is 1, 1, 0. We then add these two. So 4 plus 1 is 5, 0 plus 1 is 1, negative 1 plus 0 is 1. So this is the new R1. So we can update the row 1 of matrix A as this uh, elements. So therefore A equals 5, 1, negative 1. And other row elements uh, remain the same, that is 1, 1, 0. And then the third row elements are negative 1, 1, and 1. The next operation that we do is uh, R2 updates to R2 plus uh, 2 R3. So first we consider the row 2 elements that is uh, 1, 1, 0 and then we have to consider the 2 times of row 3 elements. So we have to basically multiply this uh, third row with uh, 2. So therefore negative 1 times of 2 is uh, negative 2 and 2 times of 1 is uh, 2 and 2 times of 1 is 2. Now let's add these 2 uh, row elements. It is negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, 2 plus 1 is 3 and 2 plus 0 is 2. So this is the uh, R2 updated R2 elements, which means uh, we can rewrite A now as, so A matrices, uh, I write down the first row elements as it is, that is 5, 1, negative 1, and row 2 is updated to as these elements, that is negative 1, 3, and 2, and the row 3 elements remain the same, that is uh, negative 1, 1, and 1. Now let's do the next operation that is uh, R3 updates to R3, sorry this is uh, R3 plus uh, 1 times of R1. So let's consider R3 that is uh, negative 1, 1 and 1 and we also consider R1 elements that is uh, 5, 1, negative 1. We add these two. 5 minus 1 is 4, 1 plus 1 is 2, negative 1 plus 1 is 0. So this is the updated R3 elements. So let's rewrite uh, A by updating the row 3 elements. So we first write the first two row elements as it is, that is 5, 1, negative 1, and then negative 1, 3, 2. And then the row, two, uh, row 3 elements as uh, 4, 2, 0. So this is the matrix A now. Now let's uh, do the another operation that is uh, R2 updates to R2 plus 1 times of R1. So let's do this. So we have to consider row 2 elements that is uh, negative 1, 3, 2 and then we add uh, R1 elements that is uh, 5, 1, negative 1. We add these two that is 5 minus 1 is 4, 1 plus 3 is 4 and negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1. So this is the updated R2 elements. So let's update matrix A. So this equals the first row elements will remain as it is that is 5, 1, negative 1 and R2 is updated to 4, 4 and 1 and R3 elements will remain the same, that is uh, 4, 2, 0. So this is the updated matrix A. And now finally we have the row operation, R2 updates to R2 plus uh, 2 times of R3. So when we do that, we have to consider the row 2 elements, that is uh, 4, 4, 1, and then 2 times of row 3, that is uh, uh, this row 3 elements has to be multiplied by 2. So therefore this becomes uh, 2 times, I'm sorry, it is not uh, 2 times, it is uh, 
one half times of uh, row three elements. So I put uh, one half here. So let's multiply the uh, row three elements by one half. Otherwise, we uh, divide each element by two. So four by two is uh, two, and two by two is one, and zero by two equals zero. So we write down this element that is uh, two one zero. We then add these two together. That is four plus two is six. 4 plus 1 is 5 and 1 plus 0 is 1. So this is the updated R2 elements. So we can rewrite this A now. Therefore, A equals the row 1 elements remain as it is. That is 5, 1, negative 1. And row 2 elements is updated to 6, 5, 1. And row 3 elements uh, remain the same. That is uh, 4, 2, 0. You can now see that uh, this is exactly equal to matrix B. That is pi 1, negative 1, 6 pi 1, and 4, 2, 0. This is uh, equal to matrix B. So therefore, we have successfully converted the matrix A to matrix B using a sequence of elementary row operations. Thus, we have shown that uh, these two matrices are row equivalent. So we can say that uh, A and B these two matrices are row equivalent. We can now put the multipliers uh, into the boxes. So let's go back. So this multiplier is 1 and this multiplier is 2. This multiplier is 1 and this multiplier is 1 and this multiplier is 1 half.